when I was asked to do the the anthem for the reinauguration, I pondered on that. I said, here I am a Democrat, and here they asking me to sing the anthem. So I called all my wonderful political friends of Baltimore. I say, now, how do I work this? How do I do this? And we talked about it and talked about it. Well, look, you're singing for the people. I say, okay, that's my way out. I'm singing for the people, regardless of labels. And you did. And it was a different version of the National Anthem. Yeah, I think I was the first to do this. I'm not certain. I won't, you know, put it in stone, but... And how did you come to arrive at the decision that you were going to do it this way? A cappella, different pace? Because I didn't want to be associated <laughs> with any affiliation. I wanted to sing the song as, and you know, it was Baltimore, you know the anthem, Francis Scott Key, and here I am, and uh, and I just said, okay, you and me, you and we got to do this, you know, just, well, it, well, I did it a cappella in, uh, at the uh, convention in Florida. Now, you just don't do it the same way the next time. That's one thing about jazz. You don't do it the same way all the time. You got to do something else with it. But this That's, is the national anthem. Yeah, it's yeah. a song. Yeah. yeah, and and apparently <laughs> there are a number of people who felt that it should only be done a certain way. Of course, all the time. Of course. Did you realize that you were going to cause such a brouhaha when you? decided that you were going to take an unorthodox approach to this? I life? didn't do it to draw attention. I did it with intention to give the song something. It needed a lift. The reason why I did the octave, I used to sit in the bed at night and listen to the anthem being played. This is when TV used to go off <laughs> at midnight or, you know, early morning. And I said, it needs something else. <laughs> and I said, land of the free. I said, we need more free. So that's why I had the accent free. You know. And the home of the brave. Then that's the only kind of bluesy thing there. But that, it worked. A lot of people didn't like it, but a lot of folks did, because that's how it's been done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Did Did you and Earl talk about that before you? Did? Oh no, he didn't know. He didn't know either. You don't know what you get up there and, and do. So you you just let it, you let you, the, that's what I'm talking about, the flow. You got to go with the flow. But he had to answer the telephone. <laughs> All these people right. were calling up yeah. fussing. But he, I, well, no, he, no, well, we saw some things written in the paper. Uh -huh. And we didn't, I don't think we got too many uh, negative, I don't think it was too much a negative response for mm -hmm. us. But, um, no, I feel... I don't mind making my own mistakes. I just don't want to make someone else's mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people would say, you know, that it took that took some courage for you to decide. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm just doing. I'm just there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about quietly, it, you know. Quietly making history is what you're doing. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah. 